Okay, in lesson 8.1, we're talking about similarities in triangles, particularly right triangles. And this kind of similarity that happens when you draw an altitude. And so the objective of this video lesson is to talk about different ways you can draw the triangle and using different letters for the vertices. Um, the book presents it in one way, and typically... Um, students, when they study that lesson, they look at the textbook example, and it's good, but they fall into this trap of thinking that the triangle has to be drawn <clears throat> the same way every time, and it doesn't. And the letters A, B, C, D are used in the textbook. Well, we need to be able to write the similarity relationships regardless of how the triangle is drawn, um, and regardless of whatever letters are used for the vertices. So that's kind of like the goal of this video. So I've drawn a right triangle with an altitude in a different way on the board here, and I've used different letters. And so I want to show you how to write the similarity relationships. So what I'd like us to do now is to focus on the largest right triangle. And this is kind of the method that I like to use. It's not the only way to do it, but I find that this is a very consistent way. What I like to do is I like to write the letters going down the shortest side and then across the middle length. Remember, the hypotenuse is always the longest length. So starting at M and going to N and then going to T. So shortest leg to longest leg, or to, to middle leg, so M and T. So I would start at triangle M and T. Now, focus your attention not on the largest triangle, not on the smallest triangle, but on the medium-sized triangle, which would be this one right here. So what is the shortest leg? Well, it's either RN or NR, but letter ordering is very important here, so which is it? Well, remember we traveled from M to N and then across the middle leg, and so we want to start at N and go down to R. So we're going to do, starting at N, N, R to T, and so now we can say that triangle MNT is similar to triangle NRT following that same direction. Now focus your attention on the smallest triangle, MRN. And so MR is the short leg, RN is the middle leg. So this would be triangle MRN. And so there we go. We now have our similarity relationship. <clears throat> Well, why is the similarity relationship so important? Answer, because from it we can get our proportion. So I can take MN over NT, or MT over NT, and write that as NT over RT. Do the cross product, multiply the means and the extremes. So the square of NT is equal to the product of MT times RT, and it turns out that NT is the geometric mean of MT times RT. And so the reason why the similarity statement is so important is because from the similarity statement we can set up our ratios. Why did we do this lesson? Just as a quick summary. Well, no matter how the triangle is drawn, which orientation, and the textbook again likes to use A, B, C, and D, but... I don't want you to get stuck in using A, B, C, and D all the time. So you need to know how to write out the similarity relationships are regardless of how the triangle's drawn and regardless of whichever letters are used. Once you've mastered that, uh, writing out the proportions is going to be a cinch. God bless you, wherever you are today.